So this morning we're gonna uh, test fly a new airframe from Balsa Wood. Yes, and this is part of our will it fly kind of challenge. And as you can see, I removed the front weight and I'm gonna show you how we connect the Power Up 4 module to the Gillows kit. This is an, a new add-on that we're gonna add into the Pro kit that has a front and rear vertical connector to balsa or foam wings. And it's very simple. The way you connect it is just slide it on, slide it on, and that's it. And you can slide the whole module front and back on the balsa frame and uh, play with the center of gravity. The way I'm gonna check it, you know, I'm just gonna put my fingers on the wing tips and you can see it's quite balanced. I never flew this before, so I don't have a clue if it's gonna work. I'm checking if the propellers are gonna uh, touch. I see they are touching a bit. So to deal with that, I can either trim it. Uh, and let's see if it works. Okay, here. This, I'm gonna play around with that just a little. You take a little knife. Yeah, it's not touching. And here we go. Yeah, it's flying. Oh my God, hardly any thrust. And this is a one dollar balsa wood kit. Very efficient. I think I'd like to add more maneuverability to that. As you can see, it's a bit windy. It's dealing with the wind. Hardly any thrust. It's quite amazing. Nice. You've reached one minute. Okay, I want to increase the, oh, nice, gliding. Okay, that was very cool. Okay, so we tested flying the Jetfire $1 Balsa Wood with a Power Up 4 using a smartphone. Now I want to show you how I tested for the first time, never tested before, with some kind of uh, altered, uh, I disconnected two uh, Balsa Wing Balsa wood uh, airplanes and made this kind of uh, new design, interesting design. And let's see if it flies. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna use these connectors which are provided with a pro kit on Kickstarter. What they do is they're letting you experiment with new uh, design possibilities. And uh, this design is gonna fly slower but it does have more wing space, it's heavier. Uh, what I am gonna do in the app settings, I'm gonna give it a bit more turning force. So in the settings of the app, I can actually uh, play with the turning force. I'm gonna add a little more and let's see what happens. Okay, very exciting. For takeoff. This is part of our Will It Fly challenge and feel free to post comments on the Kickstarter page telling us what kind of designs you'd like to check out. Cleared for takeoff. First time ever. Okay, so this I didn't add full thrust. I think it's a bit nose heavy. Um, so what we'll do, we'll change the CG a bit to the rear. It's a bit nose heavy. I move that a bit to the rear so it'll have more tendency to pitch up. And our uh, 
cleared for takeoff. And let's see how that works out. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Nice. Uh, I'm going to give it a bit more turning force. So, because it's, it's very lazy. And so I'll have more control. I can do sharper turns. There, for takeoff. there she goes. Adding thrust. Yep. That's better. I would even add more. Wow. There's no need for any thrust. Okay, look at that. That was very awesome. Uh, I'm going to do a few more things. I want to move the CG a bit to the rear. So I'm going to move the slide the module a bit more. I want to see how that works with uh, automatic uh, um, stall prevention. And I'm going to add more turning force. And in our new Power Up 4 app, you're going to have many more options to change the autopilot. Afterwards, I'm going to show you what happens when I start playing with the asymmetry of this airplane. So there is wind. Wind is around five to six miles per hour. And so far, no issues at all. Okay. Nice. You can see the turning force is much, much better. And it doesn't let it stall. Beautiful. It's a beautiful design. It works really well. And we have a fly-by wire, meaning this is flying by, this by heading. You can see how it's, it has a direction. It's choosing the direction. And it'll keep the direction regardless of the interference. Really nice. And this is really the first time I've ever flown it. You've <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And let me show you now what happens when I start playing around. So I'm going to I'm going to move the whole design now a bit to the left. So this is going to have some force. Uh, we're going to have more weight on this side. So the airplane should tend to turn left. And we'll see if the propellers are able to manage this asymmetry. Okay, I, mean, I don't promise anything, never tried it before. As you can see, not a problem, even when it's turning. <laughs> 